Module 8 Review, Lesson 8.1. Using the graph of f of x equals 1 over x as a guide, describe the transformation and graph the function. So you got g of x equals 2 over x plus 4. Huh. Well, that's not quite in, in the normal form, is it? Well, let's, let's see here. You might make it 2 times 1 over x plus plus 4. All right, that looks a little bit different. So what is A? A is 2. What is B? Well, that's 1. What is H? That's negative 4. And what is K? That's 0. Okay. Uh, use the graph as a guide. Describe the transformation. So the transformation will be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, a vertical stretch by a factor of 2 of 2 and a, a horizontal transformation or trans translation left four units. All right, so what do we got? <clears throat> well, uh, A is two, B is one, and let's see, we got one, one, that would be, uh, well, one times one minus four, and two times one plus zero, and that's going to give one, that's one minus four, that's going to give us negative three. And two plus, that's going to give you two. So negative three, negative three, two is going to be right there. All right. And the other one, <coughs> uh, negative one, negative one, that's going to be uh, one times negative one minus four. And two times negative one plus zero. So negative one minus four, that's going to be negative five. And that's going to be negative two. So negative five, negative two is going to be right there. All right. So let's draw our asymptotes. And let's see, let's get red here. And our asymptotes is going to be zero for uh, uh, the Y, that's going to be right there, and for the X, it's going to be negative 4, so that's going to be right there, and our graph is going to go something like this right here. All right, and then... There we go. Not too shabby. Let's look at number two. This is identify the asymptotes, the domain, and range. So what is the asymptotes? Well, let's see. You're going to have an, a, vertical, a vertical asymptote at x equals 3. Okay? Remember that's your h, right? And then you're going to have a horizontal, horizontal asymptote at uh, y equals 5. And that's your k right there. There's your k right there. All right. So the domain, domain will be x such that x is not equal to 3 and the range will be y such that y is not equal to 5, okay? And those are both, uh, the domain is everything but h, and the range is everything but y, okay? Let's take a look at this next one here. What is our vertical? And I'll just say vertical is x equals negative 8, and 
or horizontal is going to be y equals negative 1. So the domain, domain will be x such that x is not equal to negative 8. And the range will be y such that y is not equal to negative 1. All right. There we go. Not too bad. And let's see, four. Identify, identify the asymptotes of the function, then graph. All right. So vertical asymptote is going to be x equals negative one. Okay. The horizontal asymptote. There's not going to be one. How do I know that? Well, this has a degree of two, and that has a degree of one. So there won't be one. None. All right, and let's graph this. Let's go in the old calculator here and let's graph this uh, on new document, no graphs, and we've got control divide <clears throat> x squared, x squared plus 4x plus 4x minus 5 over x x plus one and enter and there it is okay there it is so we have a horizontal at x equals negative one so that's going to be about right in there all right and then then uh let's see uh, uh where did it cross? It crosses one, two, three, four. It crosses at negative five. So two, four, crosses at negative five. And it crosses here at one. So this is going to go like this. Ah, it's going to go like this. And this is going to go like this. All right. Not too bad. Number five. What do we got with number five? The number n of daily visitors to a new store can be modeled by the function n equals 250x plus 1,000 over x, where x is the number of days the store has been open. A, what is a horizontal asymptote of this function? And where, where, what does it represent? Well, the horizontal asymptote is going to be uh, 250, 250. To the nearest integer, how many visitors can be expected on day 30? Okay. Uh, let's see here. How did I get that 250? Well, let's look up here. Uh, N equals, and I can take 250 out, 250, and that's going to give me, uh, let's see here, it's going to give me uh, X plus 4 up there over X. Okay, so that's how I got the 250. That's the horizontal passive tone. All right, now how did it, uh, did it, how do I figure out this? Well, let's go to our calculator. And on new document and no and then graph and uh, control divide and we have 250x plus 1000 one, one, two, three, over over uh, x x and then we'll graph it okay and we'll graph it and let's see here, uh, uh, menu, four, I don't know what happened there, ah, my documents, unsaved documents, there it is, uh, menu, four, four, and let's zoom out, let's zoom out, oh, there it is, it's way up there. Remember, we said our horizontal asymptote was way up high, okay? And so it's going to be up there. 
Hmm. I wonder, let's see, tab, and let's just put 250 there. Whoa. See what I'm talking about? There it is. That's how you can tell. Okay, there's your horizontal acetone. All right. So we need to go out here to where wherever 30 is. We need to go, and the easy way to do that would be Control T and go to the table, and let's just scroll down to 30. Let's just scroll down to 30, and we get 283 and one third. So the answer is going to be 283. Not too bad. So that's 8-1. And let's try 8-2. Graphing more complicated rational functions. So identify all vertical acetose and holes in of each of the rational functions. All right. Then state its domain. So the vertical acetotes are going to be what? Uh, well, let's look here in the denominator. You got negative three x squared plus 27. If you divide or you take out a, a, a negative three, you get x squared minus nine. All right, so let's set x squared minus nine equal to zero, so you get x squared equals nine. Take the square root of both sides and you get x equals plus or minus three. So your vertical asymptotes are gonna be x equals negative three and x equals three. Are there gonna be any holes in there? Well, let's see, this has a degree of one and it has, a, so uh, no, they're not. Okay, no holes, no holes, okay. And, uh, uh, well, another way you can tell is we, we factored this, this right here and that doesn't, all right, so domain, what is the domain gonna be? The domain is gonna be x such that x is not equal to negative three and x is not equal to three, but it'll be equal to all other. And let's go let's go to our graphing calculator for a second. Control, uh, well, let's just, uh, on, new document, no, and we'll go to graphs. And let's just graph this. Control, x bar, we got uh, x minus one, x minus one over uh, negative three x squared uh, plus 27 plus 27 and then press enter and there we go okay uh, you have a vertical acetote here and you have a vertical acetote there okay and uh, to look for some holes control T and okay see three undefined uh, negative three is undefined do you see any other undefines there's not out there, okay? Uh, I'm not seeing any other undefined. So we should be, we're good, we're good. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's look at number two. Now here, I think what we need to do first, let's see, can we factor the top? Uh, let's see here, um, let's see, uh, negative x, and then x, and let's see, the factors, that would be positive. So we're gonna put plus four, and then that's gonna be uh, uh, plus one. All right, so negative x times, that would be negative four x, that'd be positive three x, one times three is four. All right, that looks like that works. And what about down here? What do we got? Uh, x, uh, we got, x minus 4 and uh, x or x plus 4 and x minus 2 okay x minus 2 so do we have any vertical asymptotes we're going to have one at x equals 2 are we going to have any holes we're going to have one at x equals negative 4 how do i know that because that's what's down here in the denominator so the domain the domain is going to be x such that x is not equal to negative 4 and x is not equal to 2. Okay, notice x plus 4, I had an x plus 4 here and plus 4 there. That's going to give me a hole. x minus 2 is going to give me a vertical asymptote because there's nothing in the uh, numerator to counteract. 
And just to be sure, just to be sure, new document, no, and we'll graph it and control divide. <clears throat> so we got negative x squared minus 3x uh, plus 4 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. Enter. See, there's your vertical asymptote at 2, but it's not showing anything at negative 4. Uh, control T net 2. Let's grow up to negative 4. Ah, negative 4 is undefined, but it looks like it's in there. Okay? So it, there's a hole there. All right. Uh, let's see here. 3. Uh, 3. Uh, determine the end behavior of each rational function. Well, the easiest way to do that is to just go ahead and graph it. So on, new document, no, graph, and we've got control, divide, x squared minus 4 over uh, negative 3x. And let's press enter. So what does it do? Okay. As x goes out here, as x approaches positive infinity out here, f of x is going to approach negative because it's going down. All right, so uh, as x approaches positive infinity, f of x, or y, approaches negative infinity. All right, now let's go back to it. As x gets out here and approaches negative infinity, f of x is getting up there, and it's going to approach positive infinity. So uh, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. Okay. What about number four here? Uh-oh. Uh this is going to be a little bit different. Let's see. What do we got? We got x uh, plus 3 times x plus 2. And this one right here is going to be x plus 4 times x plus 3. Okay. Hmm. 4 and 3 is 12. Uh, yep. We are, it, this is going to be a little bit different. Okay. Uh, and let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, on, new document, no, graph. And control divide, and we've got x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 6 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. And press the enter. Aha! Hmm. So what is happening as x gets way out here approaching positive infinity? As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches, take a look at it now, it approach, it's getting closer and closer to 1. So it approaches 1. And out here, as x approaches negative infinity, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches, again, it approaches 1. Okay, just from, from the positive side. All right. Good. Let's take a look at 5. It says, identify the asymptotes, the holes, and the x-intercepts of each rational function. Then, then graph the function. All right, so let's do that. Well, let's see here. We've got x plus 2 over, and we've got to factor this. We can take a negative 2 out, a negative 2x, and that gives you x plus 3. All right, so vertical asymptotes is going to be x equals negative 3 and x equals 0. Horizontal asymptotes is going to be y equals 0. 
Are they going to be neat holes? No. X intercepts uh, up here. You got X plus two, so we're going to have an X intercept at negative two. Let's graph it and take a look. All right, on new document, no graph. Control divide. We got x plus 2, negative 2x two squared minus 6x. All right. So there you go. 1, 2, at negative 3, and here at 0, that's where your two vertical asymptotes are. Your horizontal asymptote is right here. Now, it looks like it touches it right there, but it control T, and like I said, it looked like it, oh, but it, when X equals zero, it's undefined, okay? It's undefined, and it's one, two, X equals negative two, it's zero. Okay, so there's your horizontal asymptote. All right, and then there, there we go. Now. Where did it, we said it touched the uh, x-intercept? It crossed it, x equals negative two. See, negative two is zero. All right. That's the x-intercept. All right. Now let's go over here. Let's go over here. What do we got? Uh, negative x squared plus one over here and then we've got x minus one times x minus two okay uh factor two and two uh good good so vertical asymptotes we're going to have one at x equals two and see this one right here that, uh, negative x that's uh uh negative x uh, plus one times x plus one and hmm, and anyway you can multiply it by that and you'll see in just a second all right let's go let's graph it uh, on new document no and graph control divide negative x squared plus 1 over and then we have x squared x squared minus 3x plus 2 and we press enter and there we go see uh, look at right there it, mm, let's see here so we have an x intercept at negative 1 so x if x equals negative 1 holes holes well here at two you have a vertical asymptote uh, so x equals two what about a horizontal asymptote horizontal asymptote look at it it approaches negative one over here and it approaches negative one over there so you have a horizontal asymptote at uh, uh, y equals negative one okay what about holes uh, there is a hole, there is a hole, uh, control T, and let's see, uh, one is undefined. Well, I'll say it looks like it, yeah, okay, that's where, uh, and two is undefined, huh, okay, so you have a hole at X equals one. Good Can job. Your attention, please? You should all be reporting to homeroom during wind time today. All students should be reporting to wind time during homeroom today. Great job, folks. See you in class and good luck on the team.